this video, we're going to talk about drawing more realistic noses. Depending on the person that you're drawing, the expression they're making, and even the angle of their face, drawing the nose is going to be a little bit different from person to person. It's easier to draw when looking at a reference, so I'm going to use this picture to draw the nose. There are many different ways that you can draw the nose. A very simple way is to draw curved lines, kind of like parentheses, and then draw ovals for the nostrils. You can add in the bridge of the nose to make a really basic shape. Another method you might see uses circles and blocking in instead of just lines. In this case, you use multiple circles to draw the base of the nose and a smaller circle to draw the top of the nose. You can then define the outer edges of the nose and add in the nostrils and erase the extra lines that you no longer need. Again, you can add in the bridge of the nose to make it more realistic. Other tutorials you may see online will use shapes such as trapezoids and rectangles to block in the nose. These are usually used when trying to make a three-dimensional or angled view of the nose. However, you can use it to draw the nose from the front as well. These work in a similar way where you're blocking in the basic shape and then adding in details on top of that. When trying to draw a more realistic nose, I prefer to just draw the shapes and lines that I see. So I've started by drawing the edge of the nose. Because I'm drawing a real person and not just from my imagination, I can see that the nose is not totally symmetrical and not the exact shape of a parenthesis. The whole time I'm drawing, I'm looking back and forth between my reference and my actual drawing. As I add in the nostrils, I see that they're not perfect ovals and that they're actually different sizes on each side. No one's face is going to be perfectly symmetrical or balanced. You have to know that when drawing portraits. I'm making some adjustments to make sure that my shapes actually match what I'm seeing and match the shape of the nose on my reference photo. Now that I have the basic shape of the nose in, I like to add in some shading. When you draw the nose, you don't want really harsh lines. I'm using my blending stump to soften up the lines that I've drawn and spread my pencil out. Because I'm drawing someone with a darker skin tone, I'm gonna go in and add a base layer of color or shading on my paper. This will help me be able to get the values correct and the right shades and not just kind of match the image I'm looking at. Although I haven't drawn the bridge of the nose yet, I'm going to, so I'm adding in shading in that area to be ready. The bridge of the nose especially is mostly shading. Drawing harsh lines there will make it look more cartoony. You'll notice that around the edges of your nose, underneath the nose, and in the nostrils, the values are going to be darker. I'm going in and building up my value by adding a little bit of pencil at a time and blending it out. While you can usually erase pencil, it's best to start lighter and add layers of value onto your portrait. As you're adding in shading and shadows, you can use different drawing pencils to make even darker values. Now that I have some details done on the bottom of the nose, I'm gonna start on the bridge. The bridge, as I said earlier, is mostly made by shading. You can see on the sides of the nose that it's darker and there's a highlight going down the middle of the bridge. I'm gonna add a little bit of pencil on both sides 
and blend it out into the skin tone using my blending stump. I'm going to use my eraser to add back in the highlight because it's brighter than the rest of the skin. I don't like harsh lines when I'm drawing skin and shading, so I'm gonna use my blending stump to make the outline of the highlight smoother. You'll notice that around the nose, there are other lines, such as an indent above your lip. You can add that in as well. Now that I have the general shape of the nose and some shading in, I like how it looks. Again, you could go in with darker drawing pencils or erasing more to add in highlights and other details. Drawing, especially portraits, is a skill that needs to be practiced and learned. Work on adding in shading and details to your nose instead of just adding dark outlines and it will start making your work look more realistic. Thanks for watching and happy creating.